Romeo! Hey, cousin Romeo! He's smart. I'll bet you that he has gone home to bed. He ran away and jumped over this wall. Call out for him, Mercutio. Fine. I'll also make him come to us. Romeo, you passionate r madman, you lover. Come back to us. Appear from the thin air. Just say one rhyme and I'll be satisfied. Cry out, oh me, and then rhyme love with dove. Speak to my Venus, the goddess of love. Say the name of her son and heir, Cupid. He's the one who always shoots love's arrows. He's why that king fell for the beggared maid. I call you to... I call you by Rosaline's bright eyes, by her pretty face and her scarlet lips. Her, f her fine feet, straight legs and quivering thighs, that in between them lies. Show yourself, Romeo. He can't hear me. He will not stir or move. That ape is dead, but I will summon him. If he hears you, you'll just make him mad. These words can't anger him, but if instead I used Rosaline's name to bring to us a strange and unknown spirit that wanted to lie with her until it had its way that would upset him. These words are fair and honest. I'm just calling Rosaline's name to bring him back to us. Come on, let's go. He's hidden in these trees. It seems like he wants to hide in shadows. His love is blind, so it finds the darkness. If love is blind, it will miss its target. Now he will sit under a, tr a mullard tree, wishing. Now he will sit under the mullard tree, wishing his love was its sexual fruit. Girls call their private body parts mullards. Not anymore. Oh, Romeo, I wish she were your fruit. Then you could pop her like a popper, 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 pear. Good night, Romeo. I must go to bed. It's far too cold to sleep here on this field. Come on, Belevino. Should we go? Let's go. It's pointless to look for him. If he does not want to be found. Act two, scene three, scene two. <sighs> he laughs about pain that he's never felt. What's the light that that's coming from that window? Juliet's, the sun shining in the east. Rise, my son, and kill the envious moon. The moon is sick and pale because of you, because you are much prettier than her. Don't worry about her. She is just jealous. Her virgin's robe made her look sick and green. Only fools hang on 
to virginity. Let it go, my lady. Oh, it's my love. I wish she knew just how much I loved her. When she speaks, she says nothing. Why is that? She's speaking with her eyes. I'll answer her. I am too bold. She's not speaking to me. Two of the brightest stars in the night sky have asked her eyes to twinkle in their place until they've done their business and returned. What if her eyes were in the sky instead? Her cheeks would shine even brighter than the stars, just how like how daylight would, excuse me, outshine a lamp. They'd shine so bright that birds would start to sing because they'd think it was day, not the night. Look how she leans against her, her cheek against her hand. I wish I was the glove that was on her hand so I could touch her cheek. Oh my! She's speaking. Please. Speak again, my beautiful angel. You are, you are even more wonderful tonight. You are even more wonderful tonight than any angel in all of heaven. You are more beautiful than the messengers that make m mortal men look up in the sky until they fall on their backs as they stare at the beings who walk upon the clouds and fly so eagerly in the sweet air. Oh, Romeo! Romeo! Why do you have to be Romeo? You must forget your father and your name. But if you won't, my love will force me to never be called a Catholic again. It's only your name that's my enemy. You are yourself, not just a monotag. What is a monotag? It's nothing real. It's not a hand or a foot or an arm or a face. It's no part of a man. Oh, change your name. Should I reply or just listen to her more? What is a name? The flower we've named Rose would still smell sweet, no matter what it's called. Even with another name, Romeo would still be just as perfect as he. Oh, Romeo, please get rid of your name. It has nothing at all to do with you. Then you can have me. <gasps> Who is that man that's hiding in the night, listening to my secret thoughts? I'll believe you. I'll believe you. Call me your love, and I'll change forever. I'll never be called Romeo again. Without my name, I don't know how to tell you who I am. My name, dear saint, is something that I hate because my name makes me your enemy. If it was written, I would tear it up. I haven't heard you say that many words, however. I think that I know your voice. 
Are you the monotag named Romeo? If you'd prefer, I'll neither be, I'll be neither of those. How did you get here? And why did you come? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb. My family would kill you if they found you were you here because you are a monotag. I flew over the wall on wings of love. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that could ever, there's nothing that could ever hold me back because of love I'll attempt anything. Not even your family could stop me. If they find you here, they will murder you. An, ups an upset glance from you would hurt me more than twenty swords held by your family. When you're smiling at me, I can't be hurt. Nothing could be worse than them finding you. The night's darkness is hiding me from them. But if you don't love me, let them find me. I would rather die here and now, tonight, than have to live my life without your love. Who even told you how to find me here? Love is the one that showed me where to go. He gave me advice, and I followed. I'm not a sailor, but if I knew you were from... But if I knew you were from far... From were far from me, across the wide ocean, I would risk everything to buy your love. I know you cannot see me. I know you cannot see me in the dark, but if you could, you'd see my face, my blushing face. You have said so many nice things to me. I know you cannot see me in the dark, but if you could, you'd see my blushing face. You have said so many nice things to me. Should I pretend that I don't care for you and deny all the things that I have said? That is the proper thing for me to do. I know that you'll say yes. And I'll believe every word that you say. But it's so easy for a man to lie. That would make Jove, that king's, that king of gods, laugh out. Do you love me? Oh, Romeo, if you love me, say so. Or was winning me too easy for you? I can play hard to get if you like. <sighs> but for all the world, I'd rather not. Tru truthfully, you delight, Monotag. I'm acting this way because I like you. I don't act this way just for just anyone, and I'll be faithful to you, I promise. Perhaps I shouldn't have said how I feel, but you overheard the words that I said. I didn't know you were there when I spoke. So please, don't think my passion isn't true. Completely meant each and every word that I spoke aloud on this darkened night.
Oh, don't. My lady, I will swear upon the moon that makes the fruit tree tops shine like silver. Oh, don't swear on the moon. The moon changes. Every, every month it is different than before. Will your love change as much as the moon does? What do you want me to swear by? Don't swear at all! But if you're going to swear, swear on yourself. You are my God and the one I idolize. If you swear on yourself, I'll believe you. If my heart's dear love Actually, actually, don't swear, even though you bring me great joy. I can't share joy tonight. It is too sudden, rash, and unadvised. It's like lightning, which quickly goes away. It disappears in a flash. Sweet good night. Our budding love may grow into a flower and might be beautiful when we meet again. Good night. I hope you feel this peaceful rest just as much as I do, my heart in my breast. You're going to leave me this unsatisfied? What satisfaction did you want tonight? I want us to make promises of love. I gave my love before you even asked. I wish I could give it to you again. Why would, why would you take it back, my darling love? So I could give it back to you once more. I'm wishing for what I already have. My generosity is as boundless as the sea, and my love is just as deep. They can't run out because they're infinite. <gasps> Someone is calling me. Goodbye, my love. I'm coming, Ness. Be true, my monotag. Stay here a moment. I will be right back. Oh, what a blessed night. Still, I'm afraid that because it is nighttime, this wag just a wonderful dream that could not be real. Three things, dear Romeo, then I'll be off. If your love is truly honorable, and you would like to marry me, then send me a note. I'll ensure a messenger. I'll ensure a messenger brings it to me. Write where and when we will be wed. I will give you all my fortunes and follow you anywhere in the world. True, I beg you. Madam! Ugh! I said I'm coming! Just leave me alone so that I can grieve tomorrow. I will send the messenger. I promise you, a thousand times good night. It's a thousand times worse to leave you now. When lovers meet each other, it is like when schoolboys get to put away their books. But when they leave each other, 
It is like when boys go back to school with upset looks. Romeo, Psst. I wish I could call you to me as if you were a falcon. I'm trapped in this house, so I can't speak aloud. If I was, if I wasn't, I'd open Echo's cave and make her voice even more hoarse than mine by forcing her to re repeat, Romeo. It is my soul that, that's calling out. It is my soul that's calling out my name. It is my soul that is calling out my name. The sound of lovers speaking late at night is the sweetest music I've ever heard. Romeo, my dear, what time tomorrow should I send the messenger? Send them at nine o'clock. I won't forget. It will seem like so long. Forget it. It will seem like so long. I forgot why did I call you back here? Um, <laughs> I will stand here until you remember. I will forget. So you will never leave. I'll remember. I love your company. It's almost morning. You need to leave now, but it is hard for me to let you go. And I'll stand here as long as you forget. I'll forget I have any other home. I want to treat you like a small pet bird that is trapped like a prisoner in my hands. Being led around by a small silk thread, it would be happy but it wouldn't be free. I wish I was your bird. My dear, I wish you too were, I wish you were too, but I would kill, I would kill you by loving you too much. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow, so I'll say good night till it until tomorrow. Sleep well, my dearest, and sleep peacefully. I'll fill this flower basket to the top until I have what I need. I can't stop. The earth is The earth is nature's mother and its tomb. Plants die in it, but it's also their womb. Nature gives birth to all the different kinds of animals and plants that we can find. All the things in nature are excellent because each one is very different. Within each unique thing, the power lies. Herbs, plants, and stones have their own qualities. Nothing is so evil. Living on earth, that is, that it has no good to give some worth. Just like there's nothing that always stays good if it's not treated in the way it should. Good and bad can trade places all the time if proper care and actions misalign. If 
you smell it, you'll smile with joy and sigh. But if you were to eat it, you would die. Within this delicate young small flower lies a poison and a strong healing power. These two opposites exist everywhere in men as much as plants. So please take care, because when the worst part brings too much strife, growing death will put an end to life. Good day, father. Something must be wrong if you left your bed trading your sleep to come see me instead. Blessings. Who is it this early in the morning? Uh, many old men worry and will never learn. Instead of sleeping, they just toss and turn. But young men should not be acting this way. They should be carefree, sleeping in each day. Because you're up, I think that I find that you have many worries on your mind. <laughs> but if... But, but if that's wrong, tell me if this is right. Did Romeo not go to bed last night? The last one's right, but I still had sweet rest. God forgive you! Were you with Rosaline? <laughs> with <a> Rosaline? <laughs> no way. That is for sure. She is forgotten. I don't think of her. good to hear. So where were you last night? I'll tell you. So do not ask me again. I had been feasting with my enemy. Suddenly someone came and wounded me. And I wounded them. So can help us. You can help us out. You have the power, so please do not doubt that my words are true because I will show that what I'm asking for will help my foe. Don't speak in riddles. You need to be clear. And tell me exactly what you want here. You need to know the love in my heart set. I love the daughter of an old Catholic. We met last night and our hearts were intertwined. Our love is real. But we must, but we must be combined in holy marriage, sharing a true vow. said that you wanted Rosaline's touch, but now you don't care for her. Your love lies not in your heart, but only your eyes. Jesus and Mary, remember, you cried just, you cried because Rosaline was not by your side. tears for her did you waste for that love which you never got to taste the sun hadn't yet cleared away your sighs before true love had moved on in your eyes if you were ever true then you would find that all 
of your pain was for Rosaline. That is the only thing that we need. That is the only thing that we need now. I'm begging of you, and I hope and pray that you'll consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis! You have ch changed so much! If you've changed this much, understand this then. Women's hearts can change just as much as men's! You told me I shouldn't... You told me I should not love Rosaline. I never said don't love. I said don't pine. You said to forget my love. I didn't say forget. It just, just so you could replace it right away. Please understand. This one thing for a fact, this girl I love, she also loves me back. The other did not. That's because she knew that the love you had for her was not true. That's because she knew that the love you had for her was not true. But ne never mind that. Quickly come with me. I'll help you because of what might be. Your marriage may stop our present danger. Bring your family's joy and to and anger. Then let's go quickly. I can't wait at all. We must be wise. Those who rush often fall. Act two, scene four. Where the devil can Romeo be now? Did he even come home last night? A servant told me he didn't come home. Oh, that fair heart, hard hearted. Oh, that fair heart, hard hearted wretch, lo wench, Rosaline. She'll torment him until he has gone mad. Old Capulet, nephew Tybalt has sent a letter to Romeo's father's house. I bet my life that it's a challenge. Romeo will answer it. Anyone who can write can answer a letter. <sighs> no, he'll answer Tybalt, accepting the challenge. Poor Romeo, he's already dead. He's be, been stabbed with the dark eyes of a fair-skinned girl. He's been shot through the ear with a love song. His heart's ha hag been hit by Cupid's arrow. Is he man enough to face Tybalt? He's more than the He's more than the Prince of Cats, I'll tell you that. Why wouldn't he be? Who, who is Tybalt? He's an expert at what he does. He fights like you would sing written song lyrics. He keeps time, distance, and proportion. He knows when to break. One, two, then the third, straight through your heart. 
He's so skilled, he could stab any target, including a small silk button. He is a duelist, a swordsman. He is a gentleman who has learned from the best. He knows all the moves. The immoral pasto. The pinto reverso. The ha! Oh, how I dislike the people that use these foreign words and use these new phrases. By Jesus, this is a very good blade, a very tall man, and a very good whore. How terrible it is, good sir. we have to put up with these annoying people, these fashion mongers, these people who go around saying, pardon moi, the ones who are so focused on whatever is new and trendy that they can no longer enjoy how things used to be rather than relax on the old bench of tradition. They would rather stand and have aching bones. Here comes Romeo! Here comes Romeo! He, he's come with his row, his fish eggs. He's like a dried herring. He's turning into a shriveled fish. He looks like he's ready for the the women in Pet Patred Patrick's poetry. Compared to Romeo's girl, Laura was just a kitchen maid. She had a better love to write poems about. Dino would Ditto would look unfashionable and Cleopatra would seem like a gypsy. Helen and Hero would be worthless harlots. This bee may have had a gray eye, but that hardly matters. Monsieur Romeo, bonjour. That's, that's a French hello for your fancy French pans. You tricked us quite last night. Mm. Good morning to you both. What do you mean I tricked you? The slip, sir, you gave us. The slip, do you understand? Forgive me, Mercutio. I had very important things to do. Anyone in my situation would have placed their needs above any good manners. So you're saying this important business had you bending over? You mean, did I make me a curtsy and bow? You've no doubt hit it. What a polite way to express what you mean. I am nothing if not the pink flower of courtesy. The pink flower? 
That's right. Well then, well then, my pump is well flowered. <laughs> I hear you. You've carried this joke for so long that your plump it has worn off. And when your the soul is all worn away, you have nothing left to j but the joke. It's just a one soul joke. Solely unique for how bad it is. I can't take this anymore! Put a stop to your nonsense, Blevenon! Keep on going, or I'll claim victory. Ah! No, your joke takes you on a wild goose chase, so I'm finished. You have more wild goose in one of your jokes than I have in five of my own. I close to you as we chase this goose. You'll never, you're never with me. Unless you're there for the goose. I'll bite your ear for that joke. No, be a good goose and don't bite. Your jokes are bitter fruit. They have a sharp sauce on them. Your jokes are like thin leather. They're narrow, but somehow you try to stretch them very wide. I'll stretch them to be fat and add that to the goose. That will show that you're the big fat goose. Isn't this more fun than complaining about love? Now you're socializing. Now you're Romeo. Now you are what you are. And you are supposed to be when you when you were love sick and you were like a fool running around trying to hide its toy in a hole. You want me to stop before I'm finished? You must otherwise your story will go on too long. You're wrong. I would have shortened my story. <clears throat> I had just got to the best part and I would have stopped talking. Here comes something. She's wearing a, a snail. A snail! There are two people there, not just one. Give her the fan to hide her face. The fan looks so much better than her face. Good morning, gentlemen. Good afternoon, gentlewoman. Is it afternoon? It's not earlier. I'll tell you this. The salacious hand of the clock is on the pricking of the moon. Get out of here! What kind of man are you? 
He's one. He's one good woman that God made to destroy himself. That's the truth to destroy himself. <laughs> I could. But by the time you found him, young Romeo will be older than he was when you started looking. I'm the youngest man named Romeo, for better or for worse. Is the worst well? Well taken indeed. Uh, if you are him, I would like to speak with you in private. A bar shall invite him to, to a bar body house. She's going to invite him to dinner. She's not a prostitute, so she must be the person who runs the brothel. What do you want? Old rabbit meat is a tasty treat. If you've got nothing else to eat, but if it goes bad before it's been had, you've thrown your money away. Ugh. Shh. Romeo, are you going to your father's to eat? We should go. You go first. I'll meet you there. Goodbye, old lady. Goodbye. Lady, lady, lady. I'm glad he's gone. And you? How dare you just stand there when everyone makes fun of me? I didn't see anyone making fun of you. If I did, I would have had only weapons out. Trust me. I'll put pull my sword as soon as someone else does. If there's a good reason for the fight and I'm not breaking any laws. Mm. I swear! I'm so angry every part of me is shaking! That terrible person! Please, though, may I have a word with you? <laughs> Excuse me. As I told you, I was asked to come and speak with you. What she wants me to ask, I'll keep to myself. First, let me tell you this. If you are lying to her, 
when you are not then you are not a good person. My lady is young, so if you do anything to upset her or trick her, then that would be the worst thing you could do. Nurse, speak well of me to her. I swear to you. You seem to have a good heart. I'll tell her that. My lord, she will be fair, a very happy woman. What will you t tell her? Are you listening to me? I'll tell her that you have proposed to her, which I think is the right thing to do. Tell her to come up with a way to leave her house this afternoon. Friar Lawrence and I will wait for her so we can get married. Take this money. I will not! I won't even take one penny! Go on, please, take it. Go on, please take it. This afternoon, you say? She will be there. And you must wait behind the abbey wall. One of my men will find you in an hour and give you a ladder so you can climb over the wall and find my greatest joy. Then, I will meet Juliet in secret. Mm. Goodbye. Please be trustworthy and help me. Once again, sing my praise to Juliet. May God bless you. Now, listen to me, sir. What do you say? say? What do you have to say to a nurse? <clears throat> Can your man keep a secret? Don't, don't they say two that share a secret puts one away? I swear to you, my man's as true as steel. Juliet is the sweetest lady, Lord. Oh, Lord. When she was a wee baby. Oh, wait. There's a nobleman named Paris that wants Juliet for himself. But like the good soul she is, she would rather look at a toad than him. Now, sometimes I like to bother her and tell her that Paris is a good man. But I swear, when I say that she turns white as a cloth, yes, nurse. Do the words Rosemary and Romeo start with the same letter? <laughs> yes, nurse. They both start with an R. Ah, you're a joker. No, wait. It begins with a different letter. <laughs> oh. And she has the prettiest things to say about Rosemary. And you? It would be good for her to hear them. Speak well of, uh, of me to your lady. Yes, a thousand times yes. Ooh. Peter!
Capulet's orchard. I sent the nurse to him at nine o'clock. She promised she'd be back in half an hour. I hope that she was able to find him. She is so slow. I wish that I could, se could send my messages of love with just my thoughts. That would be ten times better than sunbeams. The shadows would be pushed away for me. That's the reason.